This question is from gate 2017. Mechanical engineering paper set to question number 31. The radius of gyration of a compound pendulum about the point of suspension is 100 mm. The distance between the point of suspension and center of mass is 250 mm. Considering the acceleration due to gravity as 9.81 meter per second square, the natural frequency of the compound pendulum is dash. Let's look at the system of a compound pendulum and what forces acts in it. Let this be a compound pendulum which is given an angular displacement of small angle theta. Its weight will act at the center that is mg. This distance from the point of suspension is given to be 250 mm. Let's write the given things now. Radius of gyration is given that is k as 100 mm from the point of suspension. Let this distance be L, 250 mm. So now we see that restoring moment that will bring back the compound pendulum to its mean position is given by minus mg that is weight of the pendulum into this distance which is L sin theta, mg L sin theta. This will be equal to the inertia force I theta double dot. In this case, we are taking I because it's a rotational vibration. Now here, mass moment of inertia I for this bar will be given as mass of the bar into square of radius of gyration. Hence, we have I equal to mk square. Let's rewrite this equation after rearranging and putting the value of I. It is mk square theta double dot plus mgl sin theta equal to 0. For small displacement theta, we can write sin theta is approximately equal to theta. Hence, we have taking m common and cancelling it out, we have k square theta double dot plus gl theta equal to 0. So, in order to calculate the natural frequency omega n, which is being asked in the question, we have coefficient of theta represents the stiffness that is gl and coefficient of theta double dot represents the mass component that is k square. Substituting the values over here, we have g given as 9.81, l is given as 250 mm. Let's convert it to meter so as to get omega n in radians per second. So we have l as 0.25 meter divided by k as 0.1 meter whole square. This amounts to 15.66 radians per second. Let's fill in the answer here. So the natural frequency of the compound pendulum is 15.66 radians per second. To learn more about the compound pendulum, you can refer to the NPTEL video lecture 37, Theory Regarding Compound Pendulum by Professor Amal Kumar Das, Department of Physics, IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.